I came to TVG, uh, I remember like around the year 2000, one of their first features they did uh, was called the Arizona Experiment and it was following me around for literally two and a half weeks and uh, the folks at TVG liked it and as time went on, uh, they asked if I wanted to come to work for them and I said yes. My favorite bet is the Pick 5. We've been so focused on the Pick 4 um, for many, many years. The introduction of the Pick 5 with the low takeout and the 50 cent denomination, I think, is very attractive uh, to, to playing the races. You put it in comparison with the Pick 6, you know, it's only one race more you got to pick, but a $2 base minimum wager, that's four times what it costs to play the Pick 5. So with the low takeout, you get higher returns and the great base wages. So I love the Pick 5. And my favorite angle is I, I really like to play turf races. I always look for horses that are making the transition onto the grass for the first time, who previously maybe had horrible dirt form. So I, I look for hidden pedigrees and I look for horses that really are going to adapt to the grass for the first time. What's up football fans? This is it. We have finally made it. We've got our Super Bowl matchup in front of us. One game left and plenty of bets to make you're in the right place. We're breaking down and betting the big game, plus giving you same game parlays. We're handing out some risk-free bets as well. That's all coming up right here. Thanks for hanging with us. You're watching FanDuel Sports with more ways to win. As always, I am your host, Lisa Kearney, and I am joined by the best in the business our team of sports betting experts you guys these these guys are here to help you make money so now is the time to download the FanDuel sportsbook app to place your bets with their advice see how that works plug in the promo code more ways 1000 to get your risk-free bet up to $1,000 we're gonna place that bet a little later in the show it's easy it's legal it's so much fun so let's get right to the biggest game of the year, my Kansas City Chiefs going back to back will try to defend their Super Bowl title against Tom Brady and these Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's a home game for the Bucs. Kickoff from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, February 7th, 6.30 Eastern Time on CBS. Guys, we have got arguably the best quarterback in the league right now in Patrick Mahomes. Up against arguably the best quarterback of all time, Tom Brady. 18-year age gap between these two, and both on the biggest stage next weekend. Now we saw these go; uh, these two guys go head-to-head -head in Week 12. Chiefs beat the Bucks by a field goal. The spread in this game, well, a field goal. KC giving three. Dave Weaver, can the Chiefs cover that number in Tampa? Oh, yeah, they can because they can't be stopped. I mean, this team is just so stacked. They're so fast. How do you stop them? I mean, you, you try to shut down Tyreek Hill, Kelsey's going to have 150 yards and three touchdowns. You try to shut down Kelsey, Hill's going to have 200. You try to shut them both down, they'll run some trick play, and Hardman will get an 80-yard touchdown. I mean, they just cannot be stopped. And when you go back and look at what Kansas City did to Tampa Bay in Week 12, it was Mahomes' best game of the year, 462 yards. The Bills were okay uh, on the past Defense, 18th in the league. They got shredded. The Bucks are even worse. They're 21st. I just don't see how Kansas City's not going to score, score, and score some more. Of course you don't, Dave, because you picked the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl back in August. So that's where your heart goes. <laughs> that's where your early money went. So I totally get where you're coming from. You want to see a Chiefs win. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. You know, how do the Bucks slow down the Chiefs? It's easy. Kansas City's going to be without their two starting offensive tackles in this game and we saw what happened with the Packers with David Bakhtiari his left tackle gone he got sacked five times by the Tampa Bay defense that front seven is imposing they got their big nose tackle back the only time in his career Patrick Mahomes was sacked five times Kansas City only scored 26 points if that happens in Super Bowl 55 I can promise you if the Chiefs score fewer than four touchdowns the Bucks will win the game on their home turf and that's what I'm calling. You take the points, and you also play a money line money maker, Lisa, on the Bucks to win it all. Mm-hmm. There it is. I like that money line money maker. I don't like the team that you've selected here. And also, just to add this, Tom Brady's tenth Super Bowl here, and his team is now the first in NFL history to play in a Super Bowl hosted at their home stadium, making history before the game's even kicked off. Cole Wright, I know you've got a lot more stats on this matchup, so let's get right to it. Be a right take here. Which team do you have winning, and by how many points in this Super Bowl? Well, Tom Brady's more likely to play in the Super Bowl than Steph Curry is to make a three-pointer, but uh, that's here 
nor there because we know that these two teams, they like to score, but I don't see this one being a high scoring affair. I see this one being a defensive game plan right here. For the Bucks, their key is going to be stopping that run. First to run defense, Devin White, he's going to need to continue to be that business end of the hammer. 15 total tackles last weekend, up from a team leading 11 versus New Orleans, but offensively, it's the quarterback matchup. That's all there is to it. But the weapons around Tom Brady, they finally click. They've started to gel. Seven wins in a row, but that eighth straight win, that's going to be the hardest one to pull down because Patrick Mahomes and company, as we know, everyone on that team is clicking. We saw four guys reach the end zone and Travis Kelsey. We saw him score twice versus Buffalo. And I, I think I'm going to regret saying this, but I think this is Kansas City's game to lose. 24 to 20. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, they repeat for the first time since the Patriots as back-to-back Super Bowl champions. That's right, minus 180 on that money line. Cole, I see you, and I'm rolling with you. Odds right now, the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Thank you, Cole. We'll see you again a little later in the show. All right, guys, let's move on here on more ways to win. And anyone that follows me on Twitter knows I love numbers. So we're bringing in our numbers guy, Eddie Gross, joining us with the analytics on this matchup. Ed, what do your models say about these Chiefs and Bucks? Well, Lisa, you alluded to it earlier, the previous matchup where the Chiefs won 27-24, and there have been some playoff rematches this season where the first meeting told us absolutely nothing, but there have been others that have told us a heck of a lot. And to me, this falls in the latter. I think that previous matchup says a lot about what we should expect for the Super Bowl. Pat Mahomes outplayed Tom Brady in Week 12. In terms of total expected points added, Mahomes added 23.2 points, Brady 7.5 points in terms of how well he played. That's a difference of more than two touchdowns in terms of isolating quarterback talent. Who helped Mahomes the most? Well, it's obvious. Tyreek Hill with his 22.2 total expected points added. Travis Kelsey, 5.7 EPA. Only Chris Godwin had a significant EPA in that game for Tom Brady and the Bucks. Now, the ground game was certainly better for uh, Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones, Leonard Fournette each had at least a 30% success rate, while Clyde Edwards-Alaire was only at 23%. This matters because the Bucks' defense is better against the run. The Chiefs' D is better against the pass. Even if Pat Mahomes is in an early deficit, and we've seen him be in an early deficit a lot these playoffs uh, for his entire career, I still think he finds a way to come back. Chiefs win this one 31-26. I'm looking at that 22 EPA. Yeah, he's also 22 MPH miles per hour. He can zigzag that fast across the field, that Tyreek Hill. Uh, great stuff by you, Ed. We'll see you again in a sec. Uh, we covered it all here, guys. All angles here, eye test, analytics, straight stats on this Super Bowl matchup ahead of us on Super Bowl Sunday. You have all the info now. To take advantage of a huge odds boost, FanDuel is rolling out just for the big game. Check it out, you guys. Sign up for a new FanDuel Sportsbook account. And when you make your first deposit, you're going to unlock an odds boost of 55 to 1 for a money line bet on the big game. That means if you place a max bet of $5 on either team, you're going to win $275 if you hit your bet. You can find it right now on the FanDuel Sportsbook app. And, of course, the guy that you're taking all of that money from is joining us right now. John Sheeran sets the lines for us with FanDuel Sportsbook. Uh, Sheeran, happy Super Bowl uh, prep week here. Where are you seeing most of the early action going so far? On the spread, it's all been for Kansas City, Lisa. About 85% of the money at minus three has been for the Chiefs, and I expect that trend to continue between now and kickoff. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers supporters are actually taking them on the money line, which I think makes a lot of sense, just north of plus 150. And we've seen a 50-50 split in that market where the money's gone. The total is actually down from 57.5 to 56.5. But 65% of the money has been for the over in that market overall. So definitely the sharper play has been on the under, particularly at 57.5. But I would say even still at 56.5 as well. One other sharp bit of money we've seen, and it's not surprising when you look at Ed's EPA stats, is Tyree, Tyree Kill. When you consider the matchup against the secondary of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the way that we expect the Chiefs to play and the success that he had earlier in the season, Tyree Kill's receiving prop is already up from 86.5 to 88.5. I expect that to tick up even higher. 100% of the money at 88.5 has been still for the over. I don't think we've got that number high enough, and I, I think that you'll beat the closing line number one. I think you'll also collect dollars on the day of the Super Bowl if you bet the over. Yeah, awesome stuff, Sharon. Great perspective. Uh, we're turning up a prop party with John in just a little bit, by the way, so great teaser there. Stay tuned for that. That is ahead, but right now I want to bring in the championship music 
even if it plays in your head. Doug, do we have some championship music? Really give some juice to this moment. Because my friend, Dave Weaver, is our reigning fans duel champion. Your bets beat out Sports Grid. Zane Martinez, FanDuel's Aaron Kate Dolan, as well as Pony and Ed, of course. So, yes, this is your moment, Dave. Congratulations. A recap here. Dave hit all three of his bets. Uh, got him correct for last weekend's games. You see him right there on your screen and all that money he made. Nice picture, Dave. Uh, he had 100 virtual dollars to bet, ended up winning more than $107, and that was last week. Dave, now you get to defend your fans' dual title here as we prep for Super Bowl week. Your competitors this week, Pony and Ed. All right, guys, same drill for you guys. 100 virtual dollars, you get to bet one spread, one money line, one total for next weekend's Super Bowl. Dave, you're defending your title. You're up first. How are you betting it? It only took 20 weeks to get that title. I finally have it, and I'm not letting go of it. Last week, Pony called me a senior citizen, so this is called Respect Your Elders, Pony. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sweep again, and it's going to be with the Kansas City Chiefs. $49. I'm going to go a little bit of uh, Ed here because I'm betting $1 on something. But $49 on the Chiefs on the spread at minus three. $1 on the Chiefs on the money line because that's the worst value uh, that you can see there at minus 180. And then my best bet is the over. I don't know why everybody thinks this is going to be a low-scoring game. This is going to be touchdowns galore. I think they're going to get into the 40s. The Chiefs will. So $50 on the over, and that's how I de defend my crown. Ed, I'm going to start, well, you know, again, all deference to you and your AARP card that has come in handy in making these picks, apparently. Uh, I'm going to take the Bucks on the spread. It's going to be a $75 play for me. I'm going to then going to take 10 and put it on the Bucks money line to try to get extra value there. Uh, the Bucks have scored 30 plus points in every playoff game, and that gets me to the over where I'm going to put the final $15 on this game to go over. In the last 10 Super Bowls, the over has hit six times. So, Ed, I'm waiting for your $98 bet with bated breath, buddy. And you'll be waiting at the very end because we're going to start with $1 bets for the first couple here. If you look at the odds in terms of payout, uh, minus 110 is what you get for the total. So I'm going to do the $1 bets for the Chiefs spread and then the Chiefs money line because I'm not going to get too much value there because they're all fairly straightforward. But the biggest odds, it's in the total. I'm going with the over. I wish here though, it's going to be relatively close. But I do like the over. So $98 on that over. There it is, not over 56 and a half. Great stuff, you guys. Spread, money line, and total. You can place those bets right now, right on your phone, on the computer, whatever you got in front of you. Taylor, guys, or hey, go ahead and make your own bets right now, the FanDuel Sportsbook app. And remember, new users, download the app. Place your first bet risk-free up to $1,000 just by using the promo code. It's right there on the bottom of your screen. More ways, 1000 all right, everyone who knows me knows I love a good stat. I already mentioned that earlier show. When it comes to the Super Bowl, good stats can help you place good bets and, of course, win great money. All right, so Dave, Pony, Ed, I want one incredible stat from each of you, something that's going to impact the way that you bet this game, something kind of obscure that's out there that maybe not everyone knows. Uh, Dave, wow me with those numbers. You're first. Well, when you have Patrick Mahomes on your team, you know you're always going to be in the game. In his NFL career, playoffs and regular season, 53 games, he has never lost a game by more than one possession. That was the Raiders this year when he lost by eight. Every other loss has been by seven or less. Tom Brady, on the other hand, his first 53 games, he lost by 11, 17, 18, 20, 31. I mean, this is a guy that never gets blown out, so you know you're going to be in the game when you got Mahomes on your team. Okay. Uh, Lisa, I got one for you. Uh, in the 54-year history of the Super Bowl, we've never seen a tight end win the MVP award. And I think that's interesting because of the way the MVP odds shake out for this game. Travis Kelsey is obviously a unicorn. We haven't seen many guys like him. Three touchdowns already in this postseason. In this postseason, very appetizing odds to be the first tight end to win that award. And if you want a dark horse, you scroll down the page and you find Rob Gronkowski is a huge dog to be the first tight end to win the MVP. In the history of the Super Bowl, 46 out of 54 times, the team that covered the spread also won the game outright. 
Some of that is because these lines are typically small for the Super Bowl. They're the more highly scrutinized games, obviously. But also a lot of that has to do with having additional data. We have more games to look at, more information now than ever before. So to me, if for some reason this line moves to KC minus three and a half, I'm still going to take the Chiefs, even despite the hook. I love that stuff, you guys. Uh, my super stat for this Super Bowl, and I'm just going to go ahead and take my time here. Uh, Tampa Bay's success, especially this postseason, has largely hinged on takeaways. Follow me here. The Bucks have scored 41 points off turnovers. It's tied for the third most by a team in a single postseason in the past 20 years. So bread and butter, yes. I'm going to do the math for you. That means 45% of the Buccaneers' points this postseason have come off turnovers, and they've won their games by an average of less than eight points per game. So question is here, will Kansas City turn it over? Rarely. The Chiefs have one turnover in two games this postseason, had the fourth fewest turnovers in the league during the regular season. So we've got strength versus strength here, something to consider the Super Bowl winner could be determined by the turnover battle. That is what I'm watching on Super Bowl Sunday. All right, you guys, uh, we're talking about one game here, the game. So let's put all our eggs in one basket, and let's keep rocking this thing out. You can do that with the FanDuel Sportsbook Same Game Parlay. You can double, triple, quadruple dip in the same game, and, of course, dramatically increase your odds on your wager. All right, Giddy Up team, you guys are giving us your best same game parlay for Super Bowl Sunday. Dave, you're first. What you got? Well, I like the Chiefs to win big, so I'm going to start by using the Chiefs on the spread and the over. But my key to this parlay is to get Tyreek Hill to get that first touchdown. I think he'll catch a ball at the 20 and just zip past everybody, get into the end zone. After that, I just need Kelsey to get in. So anytime touchdown score for Kelsey, those four things over 30 to 1. So $50 would get me back uh, well over 1500 I've got one with crazy odds, but when I break it down, I think it'll make sense. I'm going to see, I'm going to bet both quarterbacks, Brady and Mahomes, to call their own number and score rushing touchdowns in this game with a huge payout. Patrick Mahomes in seven career playoff games has four rushing touchdowns. So when he needs to take it himself, he, ha he has more than 50% in, more than 50 of the time in the playoff games he's played in. And Brady is the quarterback sneak master. So you know if they get down close, He'll try to take it in himself. So that's what I'm banking on, both guys, to find pay dirt. Speaking of touchdowns, three guys who I think will score in this high-scoring affair, Travis Kelsey, because who the heck can, card a, can guard a big, burly, fast tight end? Uh, Tyreek Hill, because I think he's due for positive touchdown regression to the mean. And then on the other side of the football, I think Leonard Fournette will push one in. And so a $50 bet there scores me more than a total of $330. Awesome. 50 bucks. Yeah, it's going to score you 335 bucks, as you just mentioned, Ed. Great stuff by all of you guys and all that plus money. Uh, you can tail one of our guys or, hey, go ahead and build your, your own same game parlay in the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Just click on the game that you like. Of course, there's only one game we're looking at here. And hit that same game parlay tab and watch your odds increase. Again, be creative and have fun with it. And look at this. FanDuel's offering a special promotion. If you place a same game parlay, that's at least three legs, and the odds are plus 200 or longer. If you lose exactly one leg of that, that FanDuel will give you up to $25 in site credit. So make sure to take advantage of this special promotion today. Again, Super Bowl Sunday is fast approaching. It's the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Now, when it comes to the Super Bowl, prop bets are the jam and a great way to get action on the big game, of course, in the most fun way here. But this year, we're turning it up. Our prop party is now a props competition, guys. Uh, we've asked our guys to come up with their own props on this matchup. Something different, different, totally outside the box here. Uh, how do we determine the winner? Well, we're going to have Sheeran uh, come back in and be the judge here, pick his favorite, and he is going to post it to the sports book for you to bet on. So game on, Dave. Giddy up. What's your prop? Well, the uh, touchdown record for a quarterback in the Super Bowl is six. That is Steve Young. I guarantee you that Tom Brady knows that, and he wants to get six. And I think Mahomes has a chance to get six as well and tie that record. So I want the prop. Will a quarterback throw for six or more touchdowns in this Super Bowl? Mm. All right, Dave. I'll 
Respect you once again as the, the elder statesman on this broadcast. Um, speaking of broadcasts, Jim Nance, Tony Romo, love those guys. So here's what I've got for you, John Sheeran. Number of Bill Belichick mentions by CBS during the Super Bowl telecast from kickoff to the final whistle versus Tom Brady interceptions in the game. That competition, mentions versus interceptions, Belichick versus Brady. All right. All right, Pony. I see you there. I'm going to raise you here, though. Will there be more two-point conversion attempts or number of mentions of the weekend by Tony Romo? This is important here because we could see a little bit of analytical play here for in terms of two-point conversion attempts, especially late in the game. But Tony Romo does love his music. He's my guy. So he may make a couple of mentions for this halftime show. Could be a fun one. We asked him to be creative, and look at you guys rolling these out. Uh, great stuff. Let, now let's bring in the godfather, the hammer, our odds maker himself, John Sheeran, and see what he thinks. Remember, the prop that Sheeran likes best will be available at the FanDuel Sportsbook and on the app. So, Sheeran, which one do you like? Firstly, there is no way these guys came up with these on their own. There's, they've had someone creative come up with this. I love the Belichick against uh, Brady one. Um, I thought the weekend was Saturday and Sunday, so I've got no expertise on what that's talking about. So I'm, go I'm going to go with uh, Dave Weaver's uh, six, more than six yeah. touchdown passes for a quarterback. Any quarterback, either Mahomes or Brady, to score, to throw for six or more touchdowns. Sorry, more than six touchdowns. Let's go 10 to 1, and we'll have that on site uh, shortly for everybody to bet on. Wow. That is fantastic. 10 to 1? Yeah, Come yeah, on. Were, were the other ones just two... two Two out there? Yeah, I know. And now he wants he wants longer odds. How about what, fifty what, to one, Sharon? Come on, help us out. It's it's one of the highest totals we've ever seen in the Super Bowl at fifty six and a half. We already expect seven or eight touchdowns here easily. So it's not it's not impossible that we see six or more touchdown passes from one of the quarterbacks. I love the other two guys ones, but we also have you know regulatory considerations, Lisa. So I would have probably gone for Brady and Belichick if I didn't have that. Like I said, I, I don't I can't name one weekend song, so I'm gonna skip that one. <laughs> it's not Saturday and Sunday, by the way. All right. Congratulations to Dave. Your prop bet is now being offered on the FanDuel Sportsbook. Again, ten to one odds. Don't get greedy, Dave. Uh, we see you. All right, thank you, Sharon. We'll see you again in a bit. And as you know, uh, injuries, especially now, are always a factor at this point in the season. Uh, Pro Football Doc David Chow joins us now with information on the health of these teams in the Super Bowl, Chiefs and Bucks. Uh, they're taking the field on Super Bowl Sunday, and we're going to take a look at the latest on the Chiefs' offensive line and issues and Bucks wide receiver Antonio Brown as well. Hi, Doc. As we look to the Super Bowl, both teams have their injury issues. The Kansas City Chiefs' focus will be on quarterback Patrick Mahomes with his turf toe, but he's going to play and do well and play through it. Running backs Clyde Edwards-Hilaire should be better. Le'Veon Bell should be able to return, as the same for Sammy Watkins with his calf. The big issue for the Chiefs is former number one pick Eric Fisher, left tackle towards Achilles, which will cause a further shuffle along the Chiefs' offensive line. And that is something to watch with the powerful Bucks defense. For the Bucks, Antonio Brown should return to play. Ronald Jones will get stronger. The key issue is free safety. Jordan Whitehead. It seemed to me he tore his pec tendon, but it seems the Bucks will likely try and use a harness and try and get him through one game at the free safety position where he can play and cover in space and try and make it through. Carlton Davis is now healthy with his groin, and Devin White, of course, is a beast for the Bucks. All right, thank you, Doc. Uh, we're getting our experts' picks for their risk-free bets in just a couple of minutes as we continue on here on More Ways to Win. But first, let's recap this big game and bet some props as well. All right, let's get into it. Super Bowl Sunday is just about a week away here, February 7th in Tampa Bay. But the Chiefs and Bucks met back in week 12 in Tampa, uh, resulting in a Kansas City win by three. Dave, Bucks are getting three in this one. Who do you like here? I love the Chiefs. Uh, they're going to put up a ton of points. I'm going to call it 48-28. So if you draw that dreaded 8-8 football square, you have a chance. <laughs> oh, God. This, this, this show has turned into a Weaver love fest, and I'm not at all comfortable with it. Everything's coming up, Dave. 
uh, on the show. He's got a little br- big for his britches. No, I- I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. I'm going to play them in this game, Lisa. Uh, they've been a different team since their bye week. They're scoring 30 points a game or more, and I think that trend continues in the Super Bowl. No, there's so much to unpack there, Pony. But I'm going to keep moving. In addition to betting the spread, of course, there are a ton of fun prop bets available for you right now on the FanDuel Sportsbook app. On this big game, we've got a full menu waiting for you right there on the app. So we're going to rip through a few of the most popular ones right now. Pony coming to you first. A total touchdown scored in this game. Over or under six and a half for the Bucks and Chiefs. What do you think? I think it's a great number. I think it goes under by a hair. Six would be my number, so I guess I have to go with uh, the under. Okay, so you can also bet that prop that uh, Dave just put up for 10 to 1 odds. Um, okay, Ed, home team total points. That's the Bucks here. Over or under 27 points? I have it barely under. My number is 26, and I'm going to say that Tom Brady misses on a late two-point conversion that puts it at an under. All right, trust the models. Okay, Cole, which half will be the highest scoring? You got the first or the second, or hey, will it be a tie? What do you think? Well, Lisa, I'm going to go with the second half plus 100. Last week, as we know, these two teams combined for 27 second half points. So low scoring game, I'm going to go with the second half. Go there. All right, Dave, away team total points. That's the Chiefs here. Over or under 30 points? Is that halftime or third quarter? If that's the game, it's way over. 48 they end up with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ed, first half spread here. Chiefs giving two and a half points to the Bucks Again, just first half spread. Uh, which side are you taking on this one? Quickly, when it comes to offensive lines, Bucks pass rush is good. Chiefs pass blocking is good despite the injuries. I think the run stopping may be uh, really important here. And so I think the Bucks will cover this first half spread. All right, and finally, Cole, you think a lot of action there in that second half. Who is going to be the team to score last? Is it the Chiefs or the Bucks? Which is it? Uh, I'm going to take Tampa to score last. It's going to be a last gasp at plus 100. I see Kansas City with a late 24-17 lead, Tom Brady and company. Well, they come on and they score, but it's too little, too late, 24-20. Told you earlier. All right, all of those props available right now on the FanDuel Sportsbook app, of course. And new users, be sure to download the app and sign up for your new account using that promo code MoreWays1000. Of course, you can make any bet risk-free up to $1,000 when you plug in that promo code. Just sign up for your account. You're going to get that risk-free bet just by using the promo code right there on your screen, MoreWays1000. It means if your first bet doesn't hit, it's all good. We've got your back. Sandals going to refund you up to 1000 bucks in site credit. It is the best mulligan in the business guys so let's swing big here dave pony ed you have up to 1000 bucks to place on a risk-free bet dave you first where are you putting that money well five straight playoff games including last year's super bowl the chiefs fell behind and won so the bet is the team to score first and lose that would be the bucks will score first but then lose the game plus 270 odds thousand dollars gets me back 3700 I think if the Bucks are going to win, Mike Evans is going to find the end zone. That's been a common theme for them this year. He's got 15 touchdowns total. So what I'm going to do is anytime touchdown score Mike Evans with Tampa Bay to win the game, you can combine those two for a huge payout. I have the Chiefs winning this football game. And as far as MVP is concerned, Pat Mahomes does a great job of distributing the wealth. And so he is the obvious MVP selection for me. $1,000 risk-free bet, 1950 bucks. All that plus money. Great stuff, you guys. Hey, gamblers, make sure to sign up for our FanDuel Sportsbook account right now to place your bet. Remember, use that promo code MoreWays1000 to get your risk-free bet up to $1,000. It's easy. It's legal. It is live. Just take your winnings if you hit and get your money back if you don't. And, hey, that'll do it for us. You are prepped and ready. Countdown to the Super Bowl is on. Good luck with your bets. And, as always, thank you for hanging with us here and watching FanDuel Sportsbook's More Ways to Win. For all of us here at FanDuel, enjoy the week. We'll see you right back here next week. And I'm Lisa Kearney. We'll see you then. Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0 with advanced insert technology. Wow. It's time! Get the official electric trimmer of the UFC at Manscaped.com.
This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Attention ovarian cancer victims. Johnson & Johnson has stopped production of their talc-based baby powder in North America. For decades, many medical studies have linked the long-term use of talc-based baby powder to ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer and regularly use baby powder, you may be entitled to compensation. Call Sokolov Law now, 1-800-262-9583 for your free legal consultation. That's 1-800-262-9583. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. If your long-term disability claim was denied, listen closely. You may be able to recover money. Unum is one of the largest disability insurance carriers, and companies you know like Colonial Life, New York Life, and National Life Group are all part of the Unum family. Unum was fined millions for wrongly denying claims. You may be owed compensation. Let us help you through the appeal process. Call 1-800-664-2191 for your free legal consultation. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. TVG Saturday. Santa Anita features a winning pair of grade twos. Four-year-olds and up in the San Pasquale. And older horses start in the San Marcos. Catch both Saturday. Santa Anita, first post, 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 p.m.